Ahoy hoy everyone, how's it going? Welcome, it's a Wednesday. I'm playing some Spelunky 2, which has just arrived on Game Pass. Now, a little bit of background. I love Spelunky. I love the first Spelunky so much. So, so much. And Purple Pirate Lady, Margaret, I guess her name is, is my favourite character. I haven't played any of Spelunky 2, even though it's been available for quite a while now. Uh, I just didn't, just didn't get around to playing it, weirdly. Um, uh, but it's arrived on Game Pass, and I thought, let's celebrate by playing a bit of a bit of Spelunky 2 uh, and seeing how it is. Obviously, I'm going to be, like, bad at this, probably, because it's an extremely difficult game, but we'll get through it together. Uh, 15 years since my last entry. So much has happened since I escaped the cave of Olmec with his treasure. That didn't happen when I played it, but okay. Tina and I became parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. Well, what an awful thing to pass down to your to your kid when you're a, a cave explorer who's died multiple, multiple times. Fine. Anyway, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, no chill. Will says we didn't see your intro. Sorry. Did it? Was there a bit of a delay? Um. Anyway, I'm here now. We're playing Splunky 2. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, this is... Oh, I'm being tutorialized. Well, this isn't my first rodeo, Spelunky. Oh, the dog's running away. Oh, oh storyline. Who's put storyline in my Spelunky? Um, let me know how I'm looking and sounding. Um, I, I, you know, hopefully fine. Um, I can turn the game volume down a little bit, actually, as well. Just in case. Uh, I'm not bothered about the story. It's not... Ow. It's not really of interest, to be honest. Oh, you want me to whip things? Okay, fine, fine. Pow, pow. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. It's starting to feel pretty familiar. I'm assuming this being a tutorial level, um, I'm allowed to. What am I doing here? Oh, I dropped down here. Um, I'm allowed to be a little more reckless than I ordinarily would be. I had no idea Purple Pirate Lady was called um, Margaret. That's kind of cool. It's a cool name. Blam! Bombs! Sticky bombs. Right, what am I doing? Oh, I'm dropping a bomb here, presumably. Yeah! So this is on Game Pass. You should totally try it out. Um, Nick Jeffrey says, Hi, Mike. As I started dialysis yesterday, if you find any spare kidneys in the Splunky Caves, can you send them my way? That'd be great. Uh, I will do my best, uh, Nick. Obviously, as... Uh, as the person who plays Egbert in the Oxventure, I, you obviously have my, my sympathies uh, for any kidney-related um, problems. So good luck with your treatment. I hope it goes well. Uh, so what, they left their kid behind? I said I wouldn't get into the story, but really, they left their kid behind to go exploring. And, and now what? Now what's happening? Uh, Nunyo bin Bidnes. <laughs> Nunyo Bidnes. I get it. I get it. Took me a moment. Uh, says, don't catch many live streams these days, but caved to the power of Spelunky. Caving indeed. Uh, a fellow Spelunkhead in the chat. Um, it's Spelunkhead. It just sounds rude, doesn't it? Bat. Bat. Um, Rainier Hood just says, here have money. Thank you. Um, gratefully accepted. Thank you, Rainier. Um, Cheerful Spider says, happy Wednesday. I have to know, are you aware that Seal Gaiman is in Barry Lewis's kitchen? I don't know who Barry Lewis is. So I'm not aware. Are we on the moon? We're on the moon. Oh, we're on the moon. All right, fine. Oh, I can swim. Could I always? Yeah, I think I. I think I could swim. No, it's fine. Bat kill. Uh, through the tunnel. Oh, that was weird. Some fancy effects that weren't in the first game. I get it. Okay, fine. Well, this tutorial level is going swimmingly, so I assume the full game will be exactly the same. Er, er, er. Follow that pug. Follow that pug. Wait. Have I done a big loop? Oh. Oh, no. The Spelunky parents are lost. Angel Beat says, Happy Wednesday. Finally got my booster today. Congratulations. I am also boosted. Um, seems a pretty sensible thing to be right now, if you ask me, but... Um, no one, no one did ask me, but that's what I think. You know, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Um, okay, pug, come with me, pug. Right. Uh, so that was the tutorial. Now I need to go into the cave of wonders. Wait, what? Wait. 
What am I? <laughs> Was I not supposed to pick the pug up? Have I fallen at the first hurdle? How do I get into the the G Dang game? What am I doing wrong? Oh man, already foiled. All right, I open the journal. Yeah, okay. Oh, the key was in the journal. Got it, got it. Right. Okay, that didn't take me an embarrassing amount of time to work out. And I got an achievement. You got this. <laughs> I so don't have this. I do not have this. Uh, ER says, did I miss the mic spike? You did not. I mean, we haven't really had one, but we could go for a totally un unearned early mic spike if you would like. How about it? Uh, if you're feeling generous, uh, after three, three, two, one, mic spike. Thanks. Thanks if you click the like button. Um, oh Lord, we've got an expert, expert Lunkhead, Spelunkhead in the uh, chat. Dennis T says, played 150 hours of Spelunky 2 in 2021. I've hit the point where I don't play unless I murder all the shopkeepers. Well, that's, that's extreme. That is absolutely extreme. Uh, okay, that's, that's one of those arrow things. So I'm I'm not entirely clear how much of my like existing Spelunky knowledge is going to translate. Like there'll be new enemies presumably and new obstacles and traps and such. Uh, ooh, oh, a little. They've made the spiders cuter. Certainly. Come on, come on, buddy. There you go. Can I just. Oh lord. Well, that's not gone well. That's not gone well already. But at least that arrow stops. Oh it. It's been a while. You and me, Spelunky. We've been through some things. What's down there? Paintings of a porcupine. Uh, I mean, this stuff all seems relatively familiar so far, right? This is sort of how it always was. There's, that's a, like a spike trap, isn't it? That's just... Hmm. Oh, no, it's like a thumpy trap. Oh, oh, ow. So it's not as lethal as a spike trap, but, but it's still bad. It's still quite bad. Okay, right, fine. Uh, well, there's the exit, so you can get through this room without dying. I think that's a that's an early victory as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's get some gold. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, it really has been a while. Uh, okay, fine. Made it through the first stage. Uh, Jordan Jessup says, already liked, so couldn't be part of the mic spike. Does money work instead? It does, thank you. Uh, it's obviously very much appreciated. Not necessary, but thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Press A to go to the next level. Oh, it's a cat! It's a cat! Now, they got rid of the sort of damsels and manzels uh, in this, so it's all just pets now, which is fine. Um, I think you still probably get a bit of a smooch. Oh! Oh, this is new. What was that mole thing? Oh, I don't like the look of that. Oh, horrible moles. Okay. Well. Can I just jump on his head when he pops out? Come on, pop out. Oh, 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 oh dear. All right, fine. Well, he doesn't seem to be bothering me, so that's okay. Oh, oh, he's horribly dead now. Oh, oh, he's twitching. Oh, he's twitching on the spike. Oh, that's, well, that's just unpleasant, isn't it? Wow. Wow, what a slow and protracted death. What a memento mori for what could be facing me. Oh, it's bat, it's bat. Okay, okay. Come on, bat, come at me. Ha-ba! No, cat, come back. So there's a gold key there, probably quite useful, but I am... I'm not interested. Not interested. Not gonna be. Not gonna be baited by this game. I think I'm just gonna try and take it easy. Um, <laughs> Helen Robinson says it's no Monty Mole. No, it's not. And thankfully not, because did you see the way it died? Uh, shopkeeper here. Hmm. I don't. None of that stuff looks like vital. If it was like a compass, that'd be useful. Um, is that the exit, or is that something else? I mean, that is the exit. Oh, look at that lizard. That cool lizard. All right. Uh, well, if I and it's not the exit. It's a. Tr oh, well, this looks ominous. Right. Forget that. Forget robbing that grave. Okay, but that does mean we're gonna have to move along. Yes, there's quite a lot more level left. Oh, there's a little room there. So let's leave the cat here. Oh. Oh, it does a summit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's like Sonic the Hedgehogs. But the cat goes on without me, so that's fine. Quick restart. Let's go. Okay. Well, well, we learned something, didn't we? We learned... Oh, it's a spitting viper type thing. Hoop. Squelch. Oh, no. Oh, how, surely that whip... Oh, they've changed the collision detection there, clearly. 
That was definitely the game's fault and not my fault. Boom. Oh, look at these guys with... Oh, oh, he's picked it up. Oh, they've learned how to use tools. Oh, early man has learned how to use a tool. Sorry, buddy. But uh, I can't have you potentially endangering me. What? What? No, that's not helped. <laughs> okay, fine. How am I... That's an extremely big hole. Tell you what. Let's, let's just blast a hole down here. Fine. So you can play that game, Spelunky. Uh, Seb Heavens... Oh, oh gosh, a spider! I was busy reading the chat! They shouldn't be allowed to attack you when you're reading the chat. Uh, Seb Heavens says, My poor DB9 is struggling to get with the minus 23 degrees of the Great White North, and winter tyres are still like driving a wash-up li liquid. Any recommendations for a good winter car? Uh, anything four-wheel drive, obviously, helps. Um, yeah, that sounds tricky. Uh, Rear-wheel drive stuff doesn't do so well in... Oh, bat! Um, doesn't do so well in winter stuff. Um, oh, there's... oh, no! Oh, no, he's angry! Oh, he woke up. He was angry. I was too busy thinking about cars, as so often in my life. Uh, I was thinking about cars and calamity befell me. Um, right. Fine. Fine. That's an inauspicious uh, one. But to be honest, I feel like the odds were against me in that entire level. So, I, you know. I don't, oh, dear. Yep. Should have seen that one. Saw it a moment too late. Fine. Fine. This little bumpy... Thing as well. Run away! Oh, 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 all right. Okay, cat. Good. No! No! Oh, no, a dung beetle as well. Well, let me see if I can go back for the cat. That was that was like a comedy pratfall, wasn't it? Um, as someone points out, the cavemen appear to have reached the next level of evolution, which is not good for me. I really need this cat now because I'm running low on the old health. So let's get let's get the cat home. Let's get it lick, lick my face. Nice. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> Peng, Penguin or Mad says solo mic stream just means we get to enable the car discussions. Yes, and thank you for all your kind words about our Forza stream that Luke, Luke and I did. Lots of people seem to really enjoy that. So uh, yeah, we enjoyed doing it. It was fun. It was really fun to have uh, someone with me who is interested in cars, basically. Hmm. Got my cup of tea. Got my cup of tea. Right. Um, good luck in the underground world, says Mr. Team Corvette. Thank you. Are they not all underground worlds? I don't, yeah, maybe, maybe, that's what, uh, maybe that's what he means. Okay, let's drop a, a cheeky rope down to get rid of that arrow. And then maybe I can use the arrow to kill that horrible lizard. It's like a mini... Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. No, that didn't work. Ah, ah, panicked. Oh, I panicked. I panicked. Uh, and I can't get the arrow now. What am I supposed to do about this guy? I know, proportionate response. Oh, oh, that... I mean, that didn't kind of go how I, expect, I expected. Oh, and now there's a turkey going ballistic down there. Turkeys are friendly, right? Are they? Are turkeys friendly? It's swans you really don't want to mess with, right? They're the ones who can break your arm. Turkeys are just delicious edible treats, right? Yes, they're fine. They're fine. I think they're fine. Right, I am getting that cat again because I'm short on health. Come on, cat. It looks so worried. I mean, the, the, the chicks going around its head suggest that it's been knocked out. But it's, it's a wide-eyed, like, surprise face. Oh, no, that's a bomb. Sorry. Sorry, but that's fine. I actually needed a route through there, so yeah, played for and got. Is that a shopkeeper or something? Turkey farmer? We'll never know. Oh, it's a it's a great Carly altar thing. Who put all these horrible animals in here? And also, is this is this the way I need to go, or is that just like a big hole? That looks like just a big hole. There's no there's no rest of the level. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that, well, I really painted myself into a corner. And by painting myself into a corner, I, mean, I went and hid in a corner and got eaten by things. So, sacrifice the cat, Code of Blair said. Never. Never. That is some real dog person stuff right there. Oh, gosh. Wow. Well, 
I'm learning. The thing about Spelunky is, is oh gosh, it's like the cloud saves are in your oh, well, it's a mole. The cloud saves are in your brain, basically. So you you learn how to deal with these things, like for example, throwing a bomb at them, um, and and that that sort of helps you out. Oh gosh, oh I so nearly fell down there, and that would have really hurt. Oh, there's another mole. Um, yeah, so you, you learn how to deal with things. Um, and it, it, they're cross-platform cloud saves because they're in your brain. So you can play this on whatever platform you see fit. Down to one health already. This seems like a bad run to me. Should I see if the cat's nearby or the hamster? There it is. How am I supposed to get to that without exploding it? Oh, mole! Oh, mole! No, no! Bad, bad pet. Burstein von Nackerthrasher, which is an amazing name, says, I don't know why you have to choose to be this type of person or that type of person. Lol seems a bit shallow to me. Yeah, I was only joking. I like dogs and cats. It's possible. You heard it here first. It's possible to like dogs and cats. Um, I just thought it would be funny to suggest that it was dog person energy. Right. Turkeys. Turkeys are fine, right? They're okay. Spiders, not so much. Oh dear. Oh, have I killed the cat? No, it's alive. It's fine. Hmm, hmm. Well, see, is that the exit? Because I could just I could just have a cheeky shortcut, couldn't I, really? Oh, the turkey's carrying me around. No one told me turkeys could do that. That's bad. All right, uh, well. Oh. No, that's not useful. Oh, cooked turkey, though. Delicious. Oh my god. Oh, this changes everything. Oh, I was a vegetarian before I got stuck in this cave. Uh, right. Well, that's good. Good knowledge. Now, how do I time this perfectly? Like this. Yeah. Did you see that? Perfect. Perfecto. Nick Jeffrey says, can I play this on the Casio Game & Watch? Probably not. I'd assume not. I think it's on pretty much anything, everything else, though. It's been on PlayStation. Uh, I think it's on Switch. Ooh! Ooh! What's all this stuff? Jetpack? Hover pack? Power pack? Or a present? I mean, I don't have enough money for any of this stuff, but wow, look at what you could have won. I could steal it from the shopkeeper, but it tends to go badly. It goes badly in regular Spelunky, and I suspect it wouldn't go much better in this one. Um, and it really ruins your run, so let's not do that. There's a pug. Pug. Pug life. Uh, right, what's likely to kill me? What's most likely to kill me here? Not what's likely to kill Everything's likely to kill me. There we go. Right. Let's uh, see bats. And a dung beetle and a rampaging mole. So. Oh, no. 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 Okay. Fine. Mistakes were made. But I've still got two health. For the moment. Ah, drop. All right, what's going on here? Oh no. Oh, traps and bad things. And now I'm rushing, and rushing's the last thing you want to do in this game. But yeah, I didn't learn my lesson because everything was fine. So one three is completed. If the next one's a dark level, I'm gonna be so upset. So upset. Oh my kid. Oh, I hear the beating of drums. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, I hate it when... You, this is the thing. When you first start a Spelunky game, you've no idea what any of this stuff means. Oh, I really need to get better at the bats. Come on, I'm like losing a, a life every time I meet a bat. And there's a spider. Oh, and there's a... Oh, oh, the, the hamster. No, the hamster's fine. The hamster's fine. <gasps> right, I'm in between the two traps. So... This is fine. And I don't trust those dung beetles, because while they seem harmless... Oh, no, I killed it! Oh, have I angered all the... Have I angered the dung beetle god or something? No, come back. Um, <laughs> Travis Smith says, Yay, solo mic stream. My grandfather was a race car driver in the 50s. Would have been 93 this year. Tweeted a pic of him to you. That's awesome. I will totally check that out a bit later on. That's very cool. Wow. There's no racing... Motor racing heritage in my family. <gasps> oh, is that a giant tribesman? Is this a boss? People who've played Splunky 2, is this a boss? Uh, it looks kind of bossy. What's over here? 
Uh, not, not the exit. Not the exit I'm looking for. What am I supposed to do? Is there an is there an exit? Oh, have I got just gone the wrong way? Oh, he rolls around and everything. Right, forget that. Forget that. No. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh bats. Oh, I threw the hamster at the bat. That's fine. Okay. Oh, oh, oh lord. Oh no, the well the hamster's dead. That was horrifying. What am I supposed to do? Do I have to kill that guy? Pio Pio Show says it's something of a mini boss. Yes, and he makes the exit for you. Well, brilliant. My hamster's dead. I'm I'm miserable now. There's a lizard now where I need to go. Look at it. Stupid face. Okay. So what up? Wait, where do you go? Where did the where did the mini boss go? Is he did he? Oh! Oh! Oh, he's alive! Oh, that was bad. What do I... What do I do? Do I have to... Oh, uh, no! 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 Huh! No! 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 Oh, I'm dead! Well... This is the furthest I've ever gotten! <laughs> oh, well... I hope they can recover my corpse and see what I did. <laughs> Hamster as big as a dog. Terrifying, I'd imagine. Um... Alright, okay. Well. Let's. I've been shot. I've been shot again. Puyo Puyo Show says when he rolls, he makes a path and then you have to follow him down to the edge of the map. That sounds stressful. And is he in every single one of them? Hmm. Not sure about this. Not sure about this arrangement, folks. Okay. Ah! Yes. Right, avoid spider. Avoid spider. Drop in. No! No, oh, I got punched. I got punched away from... Who puts a trap next to the exit? A totem trap punched my lights out. Well... Sorry, I was not really, not really focusing there. I was focusing on technical issues, so... Uh, Mr. Ghost says the game audio is very early. Okay, sorry. Hmm. I wonder why there's a bit of a delay. Uh, if it's not too annoying, I shall press on. If it's really annoying, I will try and fix it. Um, okay. Now, I'm just, I'm just kind of throwing caution to the wind here a little bit, and just oh, look at that. Amazing. <laughs> Lee T. Simmons says, "Hey, Mike, did you ever play the Roland games? This reminds me, reminds me of Roland on the ropes." I was mid apocalypse and groin shatter when the stream started. Okay. I have not played the Roland games, certainly. They are new to me. I'll check them out. They sound like good fodder for list videos. Okay, just keep keep whipping it off the thing. So I understand what the porcupine cave paintings are all about now. Why didn't the whip timings change? I think it's quicker, but it ends quicker as well. Hmm. Pio Pio Show says the boss is extremely hard to bomb to death, but the freeze ray can take care of him real quick. Sarcastic Otaku says it's actually the video feed that's lagging behind, not the audio. I wonder why that is. Normally it's pretty good. Have a bomb. Have a bomb. Harm. Alright. Oh, oh. Wow, I killed that guy. Okay. Do I have any money? Not enough to buy any of this stuff. Oh, a boomerang, but who, want, who actually wants a boomerang? No one. No one. All right, fine. Mm, uh, uh, uh. Hmm. How's everyone getting on? I'm just gonna check this chat thing. 
Oh, Square Window says, Mike, just a shout out for the Daytona stream ages ago. It got me back into playing it and I spread the word to a load of friends who got into it too. Oh, that's amazing. I hope you managed to get some multiplayer racing going on because Daytona is great. I think I mentioned like uh, maybe on a video somewhere that I playing a lot of like old arcade games recently. I'm feeling real nostalgic for that stuff. And Daytona is absolutely the arcade game that I'm most nostalgic about. Because I used to play it when I was very young. And it was fun because when you're very young, people don't let you drive cars around. But you can drive Daytona. And I did. Hmm. Oh, all that turkey. Oh, it's, I'm riding it around. No, 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 turkey, you betrayed me. Oh, now the turkey's dead. Well, look, we're both dead. So, look what you did, you silly turkey. Right, spiders. Hmm, spiders, arrow traps. All right, let's go this way. And then this way. What level am I in? Am I in... I'm not in the mini boss one, am I? Where am I? Oh, wow, wow. Well, that worked out. Makes things a lot easier, actually. That bat triggered all of the arrow traps, and now there are spiders triggering these ones. So, this is going up. No! I was... No. No. I was just about to say it was going okay, and then... Yeah, <laughs> Alejandro Garcia says, Bomb on Turkey. Yes, bomb on Turkey would have been a good good strategy. Pierced. An arrow pierced a vital organ. They're all vital to me. They're all vital to me. No such thing as a non-vital organ, as far as I'm concerned. I'd like them all, please. Pow. Pow, spider. Stick. Get away. Spider. Die, spider. Now, I just really, at least in the course of this stream, I would really, really love to... Oh, wow. That was good. Um, I would love to get to just the, the second world. That would be good. That would be enough, I think, for me. Ah, no! The moles. It's the stuff, the stuff I'm really, really struggling with is the new stuff, which kind of makes sense, right? That's how it, it was likely to be, right? I kind of have an idea of how the old stuff works, but the new stuff is, will they fight each other? Is it gonna be mole versus lizard? Let's have a look. Come on, mole. Kill that lizard. It's just very cross looking lizard, isn't it? Hmm. No, they don't fight. They're friends. There's a, an uneasy union between the... An uneasy accord between the... Oh, did I kill the... No, I didn't kill the mole. The mole's killing me. No, the trap's killing me now. Ugh. This game. This game. Hmm. <laughs> quick restart. Just a quick restart. Right. Oh, come on, spider. There we go. That's what I was. That's what I was after. Yeah. Hmm. I'm always looking for a cheaty shortcut. To be honest, I'm always looking for a, an opportunity to basically chop massive bits of the level out. Yeah, you can stay down there with your snaky friend. What happened there? Oh, it was a skeleton. Okay, fine. Fine. Ah, oh, that was close. Yes. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Alex Morris just says F for pounded. Yeah, I was well and truly pounded in that one. Um, our guy Rayhan said Luke almost went mad playing this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't tend to get angry games like I know a lot of people find this extremely frustrating and they get very cross but uh, I don't know I I find it quite relaxing weirdly I know that just makes me a strange person but oh I've done that wrong done that wrong let's try it again nope done it wrong again one more time there we go nope still wrong so wrong uh, what am I supposed to do now Kill that bat bazoo. No! 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 No, 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 no. No! No, I don't think so. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa,
Uh, Nick Jeffrey says, my Daytona equivalent was actually a game called Checkered Flag on the Sinclair Spectrum. Certainly very primitive now, but I absolutely love it. That's cool. I'm not super familiar with Spectrum games, but that sounds, sounds neat. Sounds like a racing game. Now, what can we do about that cat? Probably not a great deal. Yeah, I know, cat. Do I have any bombs left? I do have a bomb left. Go on then. Let's see if we can get this cat without killing it. No! No! That is one dead cat. Oh. Oh, there it goes. The bomb clearly wasn't enough to kill it because it is still... Still just twitching and convulsing on those spikes. Well, there you go. Peta, I hope you're not watching because that was very, very unpleasant. Um... Apologies to all the cat people and also cat and dog people. And cat and other pet people. Marissa J says Egbert strikes again. <laughs> yes. It was something of an Egbert move, I, I will confess. Right, what? I didn't even look at what stage we're on, but that's a big looking terrifying totem caber thing. Right. I see the arrangement. I see how it works. I mean, <laughs> even Indiana Jones, I think, would probably think twice about, about that particular one. Because it's compacted bones everywhere, so it suggests a lot of people were like, no, I can definitely take it. Um, it's like a ghost pot down there. Look at this cave person just chilling. Look at that. That's a real, uh, that's a real relaxed pose he's got going on there. Where's the exit? Give me the exit. Show me the exit. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Oh, 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 hello. Is this the answer? Maybe it is. Should we try it? I don't know. Let me in the chat. Let me know in the chat if you think I should try and steal this thing, and if you think that this block will prevent that thing from crushing me. <laughs> Push the rock block, then go grab the idol. Liam says. Well, all right. Liam says so, so I guess we better do it. No, it it blew up the block and and me. I was a victim of my own greed. It certainly was. It certainly was. Well, a victim of Liam's greed. Liam. I hope you're ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Push both in. <laughs> Dolan plays games. Palpatine voice. Do it. Monster Pumpkin, do it and be a legend. Yeah, I did become a legend. Like a posthumous legend. Like I was only, only remembered in legend. Thanks. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Nifa says, I need an expert opinion on only a classy man like Mike can give. Do I wear my I disagree Oxbox tee to my next job interview? It's a risky one. Depends on the job, right? If they're like, cool, we're a cool company, maybe you could wear a, a, a silly t-shirt. Um, but if they're like a serious company, you do serious things, maybe not. Maybe not. I only once like failed a a job interview to be a ski rep, right? Which is like a not a sort of very suit and tie kind of job, you know, they give you like a uniform and stuff. I think the reason I failed it was in spite of the fact I was like super qualified. They were like, oh yeah, we didn't, we didn't like, you didn't turn up in a shirt and tie. I'm like, uh, okay. I mean, I thought it was like a big group interview type thing. I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. I got a job on a gaming magazine instead and the rest is history. Could have ended up as like a ski instructor instead. Seems unlikely. I'm not that good at skiing. To be honest. I have to assume I would have gotten better had I done an entire season of skiing. Ha! Take that. Bat. Right. Cat, I will not fail you this time. Meow! Yes. It's like it understands me. We have uh, an understanding. Right, what's down here? Nothing too dangerous, I don't think. So let's grab some gold. I'm just, you know, nice and relaxed. Let's not bother that cave dude. We could even grab the gold here. Treat ourselves. Hopper Duffer says, Ski instructor from a family of skiers. I'm intrigued. I'm definitely not good enough to be an instructor. Um, but, you know, I do like skiing and snowboarding. It's fun. It's fun. I do miss it. I've not been for a billion years. So, um, and who knows, you know, if the climate continues to go the way it's going, maybe there will, will, won't be any more skiing ever again be disappointing i mean not the most disappointing uh uh thing about climate change probably the the millions millions of climate refugees probably would be the the most disappointing thing but um why have i come over here i don't even know what i'm doing here oh and that oh that horrible spider's following me now 
I don't know. You know, I thought there might be something better over there. Um, Phantom Eyebrow, we've missed out on a skiing YouTube channel full of misadventure. Yeah, there would have been plenty of misadventure. What is happening here? What? No. No, you bad. Look. Oh, they're, they're having an argument. I'm just going to pop a bomb here and I'm going to just ignore these two. They've got their own thing going on. Right, what's this haunted pot? It's got a ghost face on it. It's got smoke coming out of it. Is it a bad idea to open it? Journal entry. Curse pot. Toxic substance rumored to be a mixture of ectoplasm and cur uh, cursed blood. Why am I carrying this round then? Why would I carry this round? Shall I throw it at the caveman? Mm -hmm. What if I put it... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I've freed the ghost. Oh, he's, ba he's back. The ghost, the horrible ghost is back. Okay, run away from the horrible ghost. Horrible ghost, leave me alone. No. Oh, it got me. Well, who would have known that when I smashed open the cursed pot, the ghost would get me. I got a new high score, though. That feels great. You know, it doesn't feel great being murdered by ghosts. It's all experimentation. It's all, it's all learning. That's what this game is all about. <laughs> Lots of ghost emoji from Christine Webb. Instant death ghost pot. If you break it, the ghost comes. Best to carry it to the exit, then break it. Good. Good knowledge. Ow! Oh, gosh. Well, those those lizards are bad news, let me tell you. No, no, oh, 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 no, I'm, oh, oh. Well, well. Well, I'm learning a little bit more each time, though. Yet another death. Yes, all right. Don't rub it in, game. <laughs> okay, fine. Look, we're really gonna we're gonna take it seriously. Now. We're gonna try and get to World Two as safely as possible, with as few horrible deaths and things, and as few getting murdered by snakes as possible. Um, saying that, I have just lost two hearts by being a bit too oh a bit too careless this is just a warm-up as i was saying we're definitely not going to get to world two this time this is just a warm-up and it's fine but i do want to see what it looks like right dog how do i get this dog out without killing it it's impossible it's literally impossible so i'm just gonna have to leave it i'm just gonna have to leave the dog right here we go <laughs> Growly is talking about Austrian ski resorts like Kitzbühel. I've been to Obergogel in Austria and it's a lovely, very pretty ski resort. It's quite a limited ski area if you've been to sort of the three valleys and stuff, but it's nice. You should totally go, go skiing. It's fun. Go skiing while you still can. Uh, the cat over there says the ghost is cheating. I agree. I agree. Oh, and Spiffy Mark's a new member. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining Spiffy Mark. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Appreciate all of you. Everyone who's joining me at the moment. All nearly 1,500 of you. Much appreciated. It's just nice to hang out. Particularly because this is quite a short notice stream. We didn't really mention that we were going live until about an hour before, but that's fine. I just had I had some things to do today and I wasn't sure if I was going to be back in time. But I was. So here we are. Here we are. What else is going on in the chat? Serious in Spelunky sounds like a quirky 90s rom-com, according to Cara Denison. I'd watch that. i watch a rom-com set in the uh, inescapable caves of Spelunky. I need. To, I really need to get my climbing down with the... So, in the old game, I feel like I used to be able to do this thing where you like hit the whip button and then jump, and you'd kind of drag the whip up, and it would it was the easiest way to get the bats. That just doesn't seem to work anymore. I don't know if they've changed the controls, or maybe I'm just rusty, but I just don't feel like I have the timing down. But it's fine, because that was the warm-up, as we established from the very start, and I definitely didn't change my mind. That was just the warm-up. This, this is the real one. This is the serious, serious run. Unless we meet that mini-boss, in which case I'm stuffed. Is that mini-boss definitely in it every single time you uh, get to that stage? I really hope not. I like the uncertainty of everything in this game. And oh, curse pot! Curse pot! Right, shall I do the, do the, I'll do the curse pot thing. 
Because we're near the end of the level now, right? Surely we are. Oh, and there's the ham. Oh, curse pot or hamster. Maybe if I put the curse pot down gently. In fact, I'm going to have to put the curse pot down gently because there's these two absolute jabronis here. Who you need to deal with? Oh, no! Oh, they dealt with me! No! No! Get out! Ah! No! No! Right, it's dead now. And not a moment too soon. Okay, let's get the hamster and then I'm going to get that curse pot. Because it's got a good jewel in it, right? Okay, right. Let's get a curse pot. Let's see what the see what the story is with this curse pot. Ha ha! Stupid ghost. See ya. Good job the ghost can't travel between levels. That would have been bad. Am I loaded now? Is that am I super rich? I'm not even that rich, really. Not nine thousand five hundred. Rubbish. Ang Whoa! Angry ghost was clearly not the best move. Is that arrow trap gonna do anything? Or not? What to do? What to do, folks? Well, there's another lizard over there, so... I could just drop a bomb. Drop the bomb. Oh, well, I'm... What did I do? It made a noise. It made a plinky-plunky noise. Gentleman Drill says, Oh, you've been to Austria before, Mike. Amazing. I've been talking to Growly about Austrian skiing places because I'm Austrian. Maybe I'll catch you on one of our mountains then. Maybe. I'd love to go back to it, Um, It's really nice. I have been to Austria. I've been to the Austrian Grand Prix as well, so... I've been to Austria several times, and it's lovely. It's a very beautiful country. Um, amazing mountains around where the where the Formula One is. Right, is that? Oh no, mole, mole, mole. Right, I'm just gonna drop down and bounce off this thing's head again, and off his head, and oh lord, oh dear, oh gosh, I'm gonna go this way. No, I can't go that way. No, St stupid lizard. Ruining my day. Another curse pot. I don't think the curse pot worked out that well for me last time, to be honest. These lizards are such a pain. Okay, turkeys are fine though, right? Turkeys are A-OK -okay in my book. Wait, I heard a meow. Did you hear that? Where is, where's the cat? Uh, oh, there it is. No, no chance. Sorry, cat. Okay. Get in there. Right, what stage are we on? That was two. Wow, Sam Halsall earned my 545th PlayStation Platinum Trophy yesterday in Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Corazon, Rust, and Prudence were all in the end party. That's cool. That's cool. Also, wow, so many Platinums. That's incredible. That's really, really good. I'm nowhere near that good at games. Uh, as you can probably tell, as is probably evident from this nonsense. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna go for a bomb shortcut. This seems to be a this seems to be a spot where I can probably kill that spider quite easily, and then just drop down. Yeah, that felt like a decent, well-utilized shortcut. There's an arrow trap there lizard. More arrow traps. What's over here? Just the store. Oh, the store and a lizard. A lizard. No, no, no. I've only got one health left. That was catastrophic. Absolutely catastrophic. Well. <laughs> Doc Eyebrow says, drinking game rules. Drink for which level are we on? <laughs> yeah, probably fair. Right. Uh... Wow, that was good. Fine. I'm running low on health, folks. I'm really running low on health. And that's a, that's a real, real skeleton over there. Oh, what's in... Hmm. There's a little non-exit door here. <gasps> oh, it's another it's another bad treasure that will probably kill me. Fine. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to pretend I never saw it. I'm not going to let that haunt me all, all night. Mr. M. Binder says, Platinum doesn't mean good at games. It means more like loads of free time and persistence. Well, you've got to be good as well, right? In addition to those things. And I've, I've got no time. I'm not persistent and I'm not good at games. So really the combination is it's not working for me. 
Oh, that was... Ah, oh, bombs. Sweet. More bombs for shortcuts. Now, I can... Is this one of those mini-boss scenarios? I feel like, uh, given that I've got a surfeit of bombs, rather than mucking about with traps, I might just explode all this stuff and just, you know, really cheese my way to the to the bottom. Oh, that's not the that's not the end. <laughs> oh well. Well Looks like I do have to go that way, but at the very least I'm gonna collect this gold and see what's in this room. Can't stop me. Huh. Ooh. Huh. Oh, it might be a shortcut. No, I don't have any ropes left. But I do have Yeah, I wonder where that takes me. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna see what the see what the story is down here. Oh yeah, okay, fine. Pop. I only have one bomb left now, so I'm gonna have to change my bomb using ways, but what's through here? Ah! Ah no, no! Oh, certain death is what was through here. Wow. Well, that was Spelunky being real Spelunky about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Well, well, well. That was unlucky, clumsy by fact. It was indeed. Oh, well. Hey, so we made progress, I suppose. Got a new high score. Not that I'm, like, score chasing or anything. I just want to get through the... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Bad game. Bad. Just tell it to me straight. Did, was, oh gosh, was Luke already at World Two by now? Just, just give me the bad news. Just need to know. Not getting that cat. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered to get the cat. Too busy killing snakes. Killing snakes, taking names. Names of snakes. Pow. There's the exit. I drop a rope. Avoid the lizard. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't hang about. 45 seconds. Nailed it. Uh, telepack. Power pack. Bomb box. Mole! Well. Well. According to this, uh, my death was caused by a mole chewing a hole right through me. I would have thought it was the fact that I got exploded by a bomb and also landed on spikes, but who am I to dispute what the game says? <laughs> John Nigma says, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> Penguin Lord said, hey, the mole wasn't for sale. Wow. Wow. Monty the Betrayal, Shy Violet says. Frodo Baggins, that was a huge explosion. Gee, damn. Uh, yeah. Mr. M. Binder says, you've been 100% spelunked. Yeah, I feel like a real spelunk head. <laughs> Fans Wyprat says, the coroner probably struggled with that one, to be fair. Yes. Hmm. Let me just drop the skull there. Yeah. Oh no, I tried to drop the skull, but it climbed down the ladder instead. I'm restarting. Restart. How do I quick restart? I don't like it. That was a bad omen. I'm not a suspicious, uh, superstitious even person, but that was a bad omen. Um, I missed who it was. Someone asked me about the Microsoft and Activision merger acquisition thing and whether I had any opinions on it. Uh, I do have opinions on it, sort of. Um, I am surprised. I'm surprised there aren't... Like, I, you know, I think the thing about Activision is obviously it's been a real mess recently. Uh, very publicized the things that company was doing wrong. Um, and I, I do believe that the that there needs to be a change there, right? Um, and I can see why um, this seems like a good time for Microsoft to, to sort of swoop in. If they already wanted to buy that company, the fact that it's, you know, getting... Sorry, I died there, but I was talking about serious stuff. The fact that it's 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 having a terrible time at the moment is is means it's probably cheaper than it would be. I mean, 68 billion does not sound cheap, but it sort of blows my mind that uh, 
the Activision can be worth, six, you know, Activision Blizzard, all right, fine, and King and all that stuff. But the fact that that can be worth nearly ten times what uh, Bethesda is worth is is wild to me, considering how popular Skyrim is and things like that. But you know, that's that's business, I guess. But my point is that like it it does seem a bit weird for one company to own so much stuff, right? They own Bethesda, they own Activision, you know. Uh, they've got their own studios. They've acquired a bunch of developers and stuff. And I was thinking about this earlier. Like, if you think about Netflix, right? Netflix does have a bit of a monopoly on streaming services, right? Like, people, most people describe Netflix as, you know, they describe all streaming services pretty much as Netflix. Like, I'm going to watch Netflix tonight, even if they're going to watch something on, I don't know, Prime Video or whatever. But the, the difference is that Netflix doesn't, like, own all of the content that goes on Netflix. And I'm not suggesting that's the case with Game Pass, but it's increasing amounts of the stuff that's on Game Pass and it's going to be exclusive to, to Game Pass because so it's a bit, it just feels a little bit different from Netflix, you know, funding its own original content, but then, like, yeah, the, the studios still exist, right? The movie studios still exist. Universal still exists. Sony Pictures still exists. And they, they, you know, they have things on Netflix unless they've got their own service wow that was a that was no bad bad so yeah I've, I've got mixed feelings about it like f as a consumer it's gonna be great right like i've got game pass and all of a sudden activision games are gonna be on game pass it's also gonna make me feel a little bit better about us covering activision games for example because the management will hopefully have changed and you know uh the, the sort of more toxic elements of that culture will hopefully have been expunged but yeah like the idea of like Microsoft owning absolutely everything doesn't super sit right with me, even though I like massively respect Phil Spencer and what he's done with the Xbox brand and what he's doing with that stuff. It's a weird one. I don't really know enough about business to comment, which is probably why I should have stopped um, stopped talking probably about five minutes ago about it. But my point is that like as a consumer, yeah, it's brilliant. I uh, can't wait to get all those Call of Duty games on Game Pass and, and things. But... I do wonder whether, like, ultimately it's good for consumers. And particularly, like, if I was a PlayStation fan, like, all, all sort of fanboying and console wariness aside, I'd be feeling a bit worried if I was a PlayStation fan. And if I was Sony, you know, like, because Sony do amazing sort of first-party stuff. There's only so much they can fund, whereas Microsoft is just able to acquire all this stuff to, to sort of effectively, like, shut them out of the market. I don't want PlayStation to go away. I like PlayStation, you know? I like all that stuff. I like PlayStation, I like Nintendo, and I like Xbox. And I think no one really benefits from a lack of competition in the industry, I suppose is what I'm saying. So I don't know what the answer is. It's, uh, the answer to the question of am I going to complete this level is no. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's my very, very un unrefined thoughts on the subject. Hope it made sense. Uh, CS script who was the original person who asked i think says thank you for your take so there you go um what i think you know the, the big thing for me as far as activision is concerned is that 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 culture has to change the, the stuff we were reading in the in the news was like totally messed up and um so it's super important that they that stuff changes and if microsoft buying it is a is a fast way for that culture to change then maybe it's maybe it's good you know maybe it's a good thing Right, down to one health. Too busy talking business, like a business guy. Um, so I should probably try and rescue a dog or something, right? I hate these lizards, hate them, hate them. Get up, get up. Ah, turkey, I can blow up a turkey. Doesn't feel quite, yeah, I'm not gonna blow up that turkey, am I? Um, business guy <laughs> shy violet says i am clearly not a business guy don't know if you can tell poorly dressed this sort of thing would not pass muster in the boardroom um but you know i got opinions about games that's for sure loads of opinions about games like how this game is too hard and the lizards should be banned that's my latest hot take i just haven't found an effective like reliable way to get rid of those lizards that's what this game's all about, is about finding 
effective, reliable ways to deal with threats or avoid them. And ladies and gents, I really haven't found one. Okay, how are we doing here? Four health, feeling good. Exit's there. Let's just, uh, there we go. Getting better at my bat, bat murder. Um, okay, good, good. Straightforward breeze for the first level. Uh, Freddy Baggins says it's certainly gonna be an interesting few years. I agree. I, yeah, it is. It is. Um, and currently, you know, currently, Game Pass is is looking like a brilliant deal. I mean, this is on it. So one of the reasons I'm playing this game is because it's it's on Game Pass now, and you could all try it yourselves should you wish to put yourself through this level of misery. Um, hmm, is that a real skeleton? Do you think? No, we're good. Oh, can we shoot that turkey? No. No, we can't. I don't, I don't really know what... I can't just eat the turkey raw, can I? Oh, it's angry. It's angry with me. Uh, fine. Forget the turkey. Forget the turkey. We're, we're doing well. We've got loads of health. We just need to preserve it. Who's that guy? He's the turkey keeper. And there's a shop there. Oh! Oh, it's fine. He's, he's alright. He's knocked himself out. That's fine. Oh gosh, a mole! Ah, oh, living in a hole. Those are lyrics to a U2 song, weirdly. Um, oh, we carry around with a turkey! Oh, 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 compass, compass. Can I afford the compass? No! Okay, hold on, how do I... I need to go and get that compass before the... Let me just grab this gold. No! Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Let me just go and grab this gold, he said. Totally ignoring the trap. I think I'm used to look, looking at what the next thing is rather than what the previous thing was, but the compass will help though, right? I'm gonna do that, and then, I mean, I, oh! Yeah, all right, hmm. I don't wanna blow up that turkey because it might anger the shopkeeper, so. Okay, well, we had a breeze through level one, but level two, little tougher. Brendan Sherlock says, Hey Mike, I've been a fan of you guys for like seven to eight years now, which is most of the time we've been around, to be honest. My girlfriend and I now watch you guys together. Can you shout out Emma for me? Hi Emma! Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and watch me die from bats. Oh, I didn't die from bats. Sorry, Emma. Uh, sorry to disappoint you specifically, Emma. Um, I might die from this bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I died from that bat. There you go. That was for you, Emma. I was nibbled to death by a bat. <laughs> Liam Noren, Breeze, minus 3 HP. Okay. For real now, you guys, though. For real now. What was that cat? Cat, cat, cat. There it is. Right. Yeah, this, this cat seems a straightforward rescue. Mostly straightforward rescue. So, let's... Let's... Take the opportunity while we have it to to rescue a cat, right? Uh, come on! Whoa! Oh, just take it easy. Just just be cool. Be cool, Spelunky. Big old. Oh no, skeletons! Now I'm using up all my ropes going directly down the middle of the. Okay, good, fine. Okay, good, good, fine. Fine. Sarcastic Ataki says, Mike, ride the turkey longer. Ride the turkey. All right, I'll try next time. Oh, another cat. Oh. Meow. Is that a real skeleton? Okay, how do I do this in a way that will... You know what? I'm gonna drop a bomb down here. No! That didn't work. That's better. Shouldn't blow that trap up entirely. Okay, cat's still alive. For now. Still alive. Still, still alive. Good. So I'm riding this turkey for a little bit. What happens? Oh, it's fallen in love with me! 
Oh, it's a it's a mount. But no, but no, what? Oh, that was weird. Okay, but do, can I take it as a treat? I mean, not an edible treat, you know, like a, a kissy treat. Uh, okay. Well, there's a... Oh, I don't have any ropes left and there's an arrow trap. Oh, oh, oh well. That cat's okay. I, on the other hand, I'm going to lose life unless I land on that lizard, maybe? Let's give it a whirl. No, I didn't land on the lizard at all. No, the cat's dead. Oh, and the lizard's alive. The worst possible outcome. Oh, oh, the worst. Oh, get lost, you stupid lizards. There we go. Cooked turkey, snack for Mikey, and it's all over. Nick Jeffrey says, did you know that in D&D, &D, a villager has four HP, and a house cat attacking does one HP damage. This means that four cats can kill a villager in six seconds. Horrifying image. Horrifying. How are villagers that weak? Egbert's got like 60 HP or close to. That's like he's extremely tough compared to like a normal hale and hearty vi villager. What's in the shop? Well, I don't have any ropes, so I feel like I actually do need to buy a rope pile. No, no, I don't even have enough for a rope pile. Brilliant. Maybe there's some gold in this. No, no, there's some gold over there. Yikes. Okay. Right. Now I have enough for a rope pile. Let's get the old rope pile. Pleasure doing business with you and not stealing from your store and getting shot by you. Take a rock. Rocks are useful. Rocks are handy. You can like throw them at things and trigger traps and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Oh, bat, bat. Why can't I do the bats? Why are the bats so hard? Bats are so difficult. I'm sure they didn't used to be that difficult. Should I use one of my ropes? Nah. Oh, I should have used one of my ropes. I should have used one of my ropes. A skeleton ripped me apart. I mean, I don't look particularly ripped apart. <laughs> oh no, bad chat bots. Let me just address the bad chat bot in the thing. Uh... There we go. John Nigma says, I feel like the bats are Mike's nemesis at this point. Yeah. They are. They're bad. Horrible, cruel bats. That ran, run started well and then ended badly. Ended badly. Let's just do a bit of, bit of cheeky... Cheeky little bit of sp spelunking down. Get out of it, bat. Leave me alone. Right, spiders aren't too much trouble. Oh! Arrow traps that you can't see until you enter the screen are oh, bad news though as are random skeletons all right so there's no cat over there that's annoying all right fine fine oh a dog well we're doomed folks i don't mind telling you we're absolutely doomed the only thing we can do is try and rush through as quickly as possible so that we don't suffer for long I'm riding the chicken, the turkey. Does the turkey is the turkey just like a Yoshi, like an extra life? Yeah. Uh, wow! 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 That worked really well. That worked extremely well. Finally, a bit of luck from the Spelunky gods. Ha ha! Ha ha! Um, yes. Right. Kind of useful. Oh, oh, it can it can attack things as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Oh man, that thing got shot to pieces. Fine, I'm feeling, feeling a little better about how things are going so far. Let's press on then. Let's press on then, adventurers. Oh, no, 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 no. My turkey. Oh, my turkey's dead. Oh well, R.I.P. My turkey. 
Crucially, I am not dead, which is the most important thing. And I don't want any, either of those things. I'm not interested. Anything easy to grab over here? No, spikes and skeletons. Well, bye. Yeah, Jimmy Jones Nguyen says RIP Turkey. Hannah says, finally, a weapon against the lizard, a turkey. Who knew that in that battle, the turkey would come out? Well? Oh no, the beating of drums. What am I supposed to do about this guy? This, this guy, honestly, this guy. That, that lizard's gonna get ballistic, isn't it? Uh, well, 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 well. Maybe I can attack, oh, uh, no, no, I can't. No, the answer is I can't. Okay, fine. The answer is I can't do that. And also I'm probably gonna get killed by the the, the mini boss guy. Uh... Now what? Am I trying to get further down there? Am I just trying to? There is more level. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Wow. Oh, help, 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 help. What is happening? No, there's a curse pot as well. Oh, if he breaks the curse pot, we're all, we're all done for. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a cheesy shortcut. Oh, folks. The lizards. Absolute nemesis, the lizards. Right, I'm just, I'm getting out of here. <gasps> but wait. Oh, wait, there's a secret. There's a secret character. Oh, but there's a spider. But the secret character, the spider's free now. Maybe the spider will get caught in the web. No, spiders won't get caught in webs, because obviously. Uh, right, okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drop a bomb here, and then I'm gonna blow that up. Ah, spiders! The spider's gone. Right, let's get the secret character. Open. Yeah, it's one of the guys from the original. Be my buddy. Be my buddy. Oh, hello. Oh, I made it past one four in a non-seeded run. Whatever that means. And there's a nice lady here who's being friendly. Look, I've got two friends now. Working on a new shortcut, ran out of supplies. Yeah. Yeah, we got the shortcut open. Hooray. Level two. Here we go. GG from Alexander Hansen. Thank you. Uh, Gentle Mandrill says, Spelunk buddies. <laughs> Phil MC3, GG. All right, let's see what level two has to offer. Oh, well, it's getting hot in here. Nobody take off all their clothes. Um, that lava. Oh, lava and chains and things? I mean, I feel like that big spiky ball is... Yeah, yeah, that was predictable. No, it moves again. Oh no, resetting traps. Bad times. Lava, also bad times. Devils, extra bad times. Conveyor belts. Confusing. Oh, but I've got my Spelunk buddy who's he's got a skull friend for some reason. Not going to question it. But he's great. He's doing a great job. Oh, gosh. That platform fell down. Oh, a lava monster. Oh, uh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to say it's a manticore. It's on fire now. But it seems fine with it. Oh, well, it can be on fire. Well, I can't be on fire. That's not fair. <laughs> Where's the exit as well? Help me out here. Uh, uh. What am I, where am I going and what am I doing? Is that the exit guarded by the lava monster? Fine. Fine, you know what, fine. I expect nothing less. Come on Splunk buddy, you come in. Oh, I, I assume he'll join me. Yeah, he did, he did. It's fine. 
Awesome Brand says, World 2 is confirmed. Oh, look at that drill machine. Wow, this guy's so good at Spunky. <laughs> look at him go! I, I, I feel weird. Oh dear, I died. I spent too long and I died. That was strange. So, we could return to camp and we could just try and, for a bit of variety, we can have a look at, we can go through the shortcut maybe. Oh, it's still under construction. But who's this? I heard you made progress on your last run. I did. So, oh, Margaret. Oh, look, we've got friends. Oh, look at this little sloth guy. Oh, they're all so pleased for me. This is adorable. What is, oh, they've got little beds. Oh, they've set up camp. I mean, this is quite homely and nice and charming, isn't it? <laughs> I love this little black and white sloth guy. Or, yeah, he's a sloth, isn't he? He's great. So when will this be finished? Coming soon, Mama Tunnel. All right, well, I guess we need to head back into the tunnels. Oh wait, that's the tutorial. I guess we need to head back into the tunnels and maybe Mama Tunnel will finish a bit later on. The walls are shifting. Oh yeah, if you're not familiar with Splunky, Probably should have, I mean, I should have explained that obviously the levels are completely different every time around and this is the last time you'll ever see this level um, ever again. Because it's all procedurally generated, which makes it impossible to memorize the levels, but what you can memorize is the ability to get past traps and enemies and things. So that's, that's what you learn and that's why it's sort of satisfying because it feels fresh every time, but also you get a little bit better every time as well. Most times. Moles, though, can do one. Absolutely do one. As can little surprise spiders there. As can lizards. Punch that lizard. Right. Okay. World 1. Took some damage. Not happy about it. Not happy about it. Uh... I can't afford anything in here. I am impoverished. I'm an impoverished explorer who's avoiding moles and terrified lizards and it's all going badly wrong. All right, let's get out of here. I should get out of the way of the lizards quickly. Okay, um, fine. There's a little door here. Should we take a look? See what it is? Uh, it's another treasure thing. Well, I'll have the, that treasure. I'll ignore the rest. Because I don't have the key. The key was somewhere else. Well, it's over here, actually. Hmm, I could try and grab it. Let's see. Let's see what's in the treasure box, hey? Given that it's so conveniently positioned. Ah, cool. Okay, it's the it's the eye that shows you where treasure is and stuff, I think, or something. I can't remember. It's been a, it's been a long time since I played the original Spunky. Yeah, that's the gold. Shall I take the cursed jar? Why not? Why not? I mean, we know why not, don't we? We know exactly why not. That's why not. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Well, the music's gone all wrong. But I'm getting out of here. Getting out of here. Uh, Marie Lee says, Lol, can't afford anything if you keep going past easily collectible gold. Yes, but I'm too busy concentrating on, on living my life and surviving. Uh, so, yeah, that's why. I don't need money when I've got the gift of life. But I will have this gold. <laughs> and this one. It needs to be really easily collectible. Let's be honest. Oh, no, mold! No, mold! Oh, you... You absolute monster. Oh, no, a spider! Spiders and moles and... Oh, all sorts. Oh, that was... That just... Did, everything's going wrong. Is that turkey alive, though? Just go away, spider. Go away, everyone. Can I just... I'm just going to drop a bomb down here and just end that whole problem in one fell swoop and get some extra health. Perfect. Right, I'm going to go and chat to that guy, actually. I've not chatted to him before. So, I'm looking for turkeys. Want to help? Maybe? I could get your mole real easily. Right. 
Right, here you go. Here's a turkey. Wait, I assume that turkey already belonged to him. So, fine. He doesn't want the turkey that he already owns. I can understand that. Is he going to get angry if I blow this turkey up and eat it? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yep. You monster. Well, I deserved that. I deserved that. <laughs> well placed bomb, gentle mandrel says. Okay, fine. I want to know when Mama Tunnel is going to have my shortcut to uh, to the next level ready. Come on, Mama Tunnel. I need your help. No bat. No bat. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Oh, I jumped on you, you silly spider. I'm rushing now, you see. This is the problem. When you get sort of, like, impatient, you just end up rushing and then bad things happen. Oh gosh, like nearly just happened there. Moles, moles are bad things. Jack Parkinson says, spiders, moles and all sorts, or oh my. <laughs> Logan Hanlon says, my toxic trait is that I think I could do this easily first time, despite the fact I gave up on Mario Odyssey after one level. Mario Odyssey is a great game, like a really good game. You should definitely go back and try it and do some more of it because it's really good. Uh, I don't want to push that. That would be a bad idea. Um, yeah, you should go back to Mario Odyssey. But I know that I know that feeling of like, you know, surely this is easy. I'd be fine. I'd be I'd be so good at this, and then you would actually try and you rubbish. That applies to all sorts of things. Like, oh no, oh the curse, the curse stone. All right, fine. Well, given that everything's going wrong already, well, there we go. <laughs> I should have, uh, you know. I should probably have handled that better. Sorry. Rainier Hood says, Mario Odyssey is so good. It is really, really good. It's huge as well. You can finish the main bit of Mario Odyssey in just a few hours, but there are so many hidden moons that there's like 880 or something wild like that. Um, so much game there. And it's all just brilliantly inventive Nintendo stuff. See what also... Uh, Super Mario 3D World, which only recently came out on Switch, really, um, is also such a favourite of mine. Really, really good game. Every single level in that game it just feels like it could be an entire game of its own. It's that packed with ideas, so definitely recommend those. And I, I, I feel a bit... Uh, feels a bit clickbaity that, <laughs> that I describe this as the best platformer ever. It's probably the best platformer on the Xbox, but... Yeah, it's probably not as good as Mario. Square Window says, I love Mario's Wii U World. It's really, really good. I, I played on the Wii U because I bought a Wii U lol. Um, but I'm glad people are getting to experience it on the Switch because it's genuinely one of my favourite Mario games of all time. It's that good. And it can be played in four-player co-op, which is just hilarious. Like The entire thing is, is so funny and so brilliantly put together. Um, wholeheartedly recommend it oh my lord what the heck I nearly got shot by an arrow because what the heck is this thing an axolotl I can't afford one but I desperately want one how am I supposed to not have one of those hold on then let me just collect a bit of gold we've got a bomb here and I don't know. Mm, that's not going to work that well, is it? I really want to buy that axolotl. It's not even that expensive. Hmm. What if I throw this up here and drop a bomb here? Okay, all of that stuff has ended up right next to the trap, so... Oh, well, it fires it into me. Okay, 3,000. 3,300... Do a bit more mining. Three, yeah, hmm, hmm, hmm. 3,600. It was like 4,000 something, wasn't it? There's a, there's a lovely gem there. I'm just using all my bombs to blow stuff up so I can get. Okay, that looks, that looks good, right? That's enough. Yeah. Now what? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. 
Wow. Wow, I can like double jump with it and stuff. This is astonishing. It looks it looks hardy as well. Wait, wait, wait. It can't go up ladders. This could be a problem. <laughs> what? But what is the point of this? It teleported? What? What happened? What just happened? <laughs> Everyone, everyone's still, the chat's still catching up. <laughs> Try picking it up. Need to pick it up? Carry it up. Uh, clumsy by fact. It's fallen about laughing. Everyone. <laughs> Carrie Joy says, LMAO. <laughs> Kevin Couto just says, Spelunky. Uh, Cody N says, that exact thing happened to me when I first got one. <laughs> this game, this game. Angel Beats has so much for Misty Step. <laughs> Lila Rose says it can teleport. Yeah, Ramen Noodle says <laughs> you just got spelunked. Well, 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 well. Uh, well, that was well worth four grand, obviously. Hamster, you won't betray me. Come on, hamster. Okay, bombs. Shortcut bombs. Uh, I'm going to carry on playing for another 10 minutes or so, and then I think I should probably end this absolute S show. <laughs> uh, okay. I can't believe what just happened. I can't believe it. Oh, my hamster. Oh, it's fine. It survived. It walked it off. Come back. Come back, hamster. I need you. Uh, I do want that gold, but I don't want to meet a lizard, so... Or a mole. Or a mole. <laughs> Ethan Robin says, that's a fresh mem. <laughs> Mike Azoria says, I need more incredulous mic noises in my life. And Scott Jacobs says, that's number one. <laughs> yeah. Rep Carl says, my toxic trait is that I see secrete botulinium. I don't know what that is, but it does sound toxic. Uh, right. Pug. Come with me if you want to live, Pug. Yeah, well, come with me if you want to get shot by an arrow, Pug. This is the main thing. Uh, okay, there's a turkey. But I can't have both, can I? I can't have both a turkey and a... Uh, I could blow that turkey up. Hmm. Where can I leave the Pug that's safe? Hmm. Yeah, here. And then if I blow this turkey up. Okay. Eat the roast turkey. Get the pug back. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so healthy, folks. I'm gonna have hearts coming out of my eyes. Oh, the dog's dead. Well, I'm still pretty healthy. Still feeling pretty good about it. Botulinium is the toxin that causes botulism. Well, thank you. <laughs> so cheery. Uh, <laughs> Axolotl Bert is new best pet. Worst pet. Did you see what he did to me? Teleported me into a wall. Okay. All right. Compass. Can I afford the compass? No, because I don't collect gold. What about? There's some gold here. And I have bombs, so let's go. Good job I jumped there, right? Uh... That could have been messy. Also, I don't have a rope. Oh, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to blast my way to the exit. Oh, or do I? Or do I? Platforming, folks. I used my brain. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. It's all gotten a bit too hot. <laughs> I think that cave guy got punched directly in the junk just as I was leaving the level. Um... <laughs> Wild work says keep the dog corpse as a ranged weapon. Unbelievable. So cold. <laughs> Keep the dog corpse as a ranged weapon. Amazing comment. Um, 
Okay. Tess Harris says, saw that you're live and it made me jump with glee. Really needed this to wind down today. Here, have some shiny coin for the road. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right. I don't have anything to... Um, I don't have any rope to... To trigger the arrow traps. So I'm just going to have to... Really be careful. Got the bat. Ended that bat. Absolutely ended it. How are we feeling about bomb shortcuts, folks? I feel like one. There we go. Have the snake as well. Good. Good. Now, wait. I, I, might, I mean, my memory's shot to pieces, but I don't need ropes to get back up. I was wondering whether the store with the compass was just up there, but it's not. If it was. I can't get back up there anyway. Spider. 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 Run! And kill. Run and murder spiders. Okay. There's the exit. There's the exit. Fine. I'm going to throw that pot and see if there's something nice in it. No, it's a spider. Get out of it, spider. Ah, oh, compass! Compass shop! Yes. Give me compass, please. Thank you. Do I want anything else? Ropes. Oh, gosh, ropes. Oh! Oh, I need to find, like, one tiny amount of gold. Uh, how am I going to do this? What's the best way to do this without angering the shopkeeper? Probably a bomb there, right? Oh, no! Right, hold on. There we go. I'm going to get some ropes as well. Thank you. Okay, we're good. We're good. A little low on bombs, but, you know, we might find some in the crate or something. No, dark level. No. Why would you do this to me? Why so cool? Dark level with lizards? No. And why are the two compass points? Ah, oh, bats. Get oh, I burnt my rope up. Well, that's weird. And you, I think. Uh, uh, lizards. Uh, just darkness and lizards. Oh, dear. Dark and mini boss level. Hate to see it, Silver Salmon says. Great. 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 Oh, I dropped my... I dropped my torch. Why did I drop my torch? Right. Let's throw that onto the spikes or something. Ah, oh, skeletons. What? Things are collapsing as well. Do not like it. Why do I keep dropping my torch? Okay, I'm going to... There we go. I'm just going to blow that lizard up because I've had enough of its nonsense. I'm going to need that torch though. What's down here? Ugh, I've got no bombs left. Oh, this is a disaster. I, just, I needed bombs instead of ropes. Oh, I'm going to have to go down these ladders near this lizard. I've got six health, but like once those lizards start rolling around, it's real big problems for me. Okay, fine. <laughs> now what? <laughs> oh. oh, mini boss. Mini boss. Ah! That was a mistake. Or was it? Or was it a mistake? Was it a mistake? No, it was a mistake! It was a mistake! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> oh! Oh, no. Return to camp. <laughs> well, I don't, <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm going to improve on that as a moment of the stream and it's coming up to 6 p.m. so yeah. Well, that's Spelunky 2 available to play now on Game Pass. Uh <laughs> Brandy Davis says that was a fresh map. Uh Donald Gow says ah the unmistakable sound of immediate regret. Sounds a bit like um, 
that bit at the end of <laughs> the Matrix where he's like this sound of inevitability. Yeah, got yet Jacob's mistakes were made. One specific mistake was made. Uh, Andrew Teal says, bro, do you even spelunk? Well, not enough, clearly. Not enough. Uh, the cat over there, that cat over there, sorry, says, wow, time passes quickly when you spelunk. It does. I, I started with a cup of tea and I haven't finished it. So things are, you know, I was clearly distracted by the excellent game. Uh, Brendan Shark says, thanks for the stream, Mike. You are welcome. It's been fun. It's been fun. Uh, Chaotic Raven says, lol, it was very spelunky. Uh, <laughs> Burb says, he survived one pixel away from death from, for over a second. It felt like longer. It felt like three weeks, to be honest. Right. Oh, ER says, don't forget like Spike. Well, if you would like to uh, like for that, that was... Um, yeah, that was quite the moment with the mini boss there. Dark level mini boss, bad combination. Um, so if you, yeah, if you'd like to like, uh, three, two, one, please click the like button. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the likes so far, and thanks for joining me. It's been fun. Uh, what do we have coming up? We have uh, another list video coming up tomorrow. It's a fun one. Uh, enjoyed writing this one. So um, yeah. Look forward to that. And uh, on Friday, ooh, so I'll tell you what we have planned on Friday. Um, hopefully it'll work. It's a bit of an unknown quantity, but um, Hitman VR is coming out on PC tomorrow, apparently. So if we can get hold of it, get the VR working and play it, we will try and have that video up for Friday. Um, if not, it might be early next week, but we've got to try Hitman VR. Like I played it on the PlayStation, it's fun. It's good, but it only uses the control pad. Whereas the one on the PC apparently has proper hand controls and things. So um, yeah, so we're gonna try and play that. So that's what we're hoping to do. Obviously all things are subject to change, but um, but yeah, we'd, we'd really like to do that. So look forward to that. Uh, Marissa J says, I would love Escape Room episode two. Yeah, we might play some more Escape Room Simulator. It was fun, it was a good laugh. It's not an Xbox game, obviously a bit like Hitman VR, but um, you know, if people, people enjoy it and want to see more maybe we'll do some more all right cool thank you so much for watching please uh hit the like button if you've somehow just sort of shown up and you know you enjoyed this uh otherwise uh we'll see you tomorrow for another video bye